What's up YouTube, Vampy V here, and I think this will be a new installment on the channel dedicated towards building a dividend stock portfolio that will eventually pay for a Model Y. So this is the first installment to a series that I think would be fun and hopefully helpful to anyone who's new to investing or deciding to start investing to actually do something with their money. This is not financial advice. I'm by no means a financial advisor. I actually have zero idea of what I'm doing, kind of, sort of. But nevertheless, in this video, we will take a look at what would be needed to pay for a Model Y and what kind of yield would be needed to achieve the goal, also the current investments that I have. And if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to subscribe and come along for the ride. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look and see what a Model Y will cost and then we'll take a look at the numbers. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and we're going to build a Model Y. I was originally going to do this with a Model 3, but I want to buy a Model 3 sometime this year. That's what I'm hoping for. So I figured a Model Y would be more realistic, more interesting, and might catch the attention over time as we build the portfolio. I already did select blue instead of white. I think I would rather go with the blue color. I really would like the induction wheels. I really like the look. But just for the sake, we're going to be on Team Gemini. And then let's go ahead and we'll do the next button. And then look at the interior. There's no need for seven. It's not even available. I do want white interior. So we'll go ahead and select that, pay that extra premium. Uh, we won't do full self-driving just for the sake of making this portfolio need as little as possible. Now let's go ahead and take a loan. Uh, look at the loan so estimate the payment this is with seven thousand five hundred dollars down uh three point five percent interest and then it's seven hundred and fifty one dollars a month so we would have to plan for seven hundred and fifty dollars uh essentially so we the dividend needs to we need a dividend payout of essentially seven hundred and fifty dollars a month so let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of portfolio like what size we would need to do that all right, so for this, we essentially, we're just using $750 to make it simple. And then you take that times 12 for 12 months for those payments. It essentially comes out to $9,000 a year. So we'd have to get $9,000 in dividend payouts per year. And of course, that doesn't cover insurance or anything like that. It would just pay for the Model Y. And so if we take that, we could have a $50,000 investment stock portfolio with 18 percent dividends which is pretty much impossible but that would give us that nine thousand dollar figure per year and then if you double that and half the dividend you could have a one hundred thousand dollar portfolio at a nine percent dividend yield or return you know per one hundred dollars invested and that would allow you to buy the model y or the most realistic rather would be a two hundred thousand dollar stock portfolio and that would be at 4.5% a dividend yield that would give us that $9,000 per year and would essentially give us a free Model Y on our investments. And for those who do not know what a dividend stock is, um, a dividend stock is a stock that gives you dividends. The company pays you out a dividend. It is not owed by the company by any means. They just choose to pay that out to their shareholders and it is by no means guaranteed or owed at any time. It could be canceled or could be lowered. However, for my investment portfolio, we're gonna be picking ones that for the most part have reliable dividends and have seen dividend growth and have continually done dividend payouts and those that gradually increase their dividends so that way it grows with inflation. And so all of this started um, when I made a new year's resolution that I would, I know cliche, right? That I would buy a dividend stock every pay period. So let me know in the comments below. I get paid bi-weekly. If you would like weekly talk at the stocks that I'm looking at and my plans for the portfolio, or if you guys would prefer a bi-weekly upload where I actually purchase the stock and then discuss on it. Uh, this pay period, I went with Realty Income and I use the Robinhood app. I use Robinhood for investing. It seems fairly simple. Not everybody is for it. I don't have any issues with them yet. If I do, you know, I may consider looking somewhere else depending on how big the portfolio is. But for right now, I use Robinhood. It makes it really easy to purchase. As you can see, I went and placed an order. Uh, one stonk, please. 
and a swipe like Tinder and bam, invested. So now let's go ahead and take a look at my portfolio. All right, and of course, if this isn't something that you are interested in seeing, definitely let me know in the comments below. But uh, this time, I, you know, I just bought that Realty Income. It has a dividend yield of 3.484%, which means per $100 invested, I should get $3.48 or $3.48. I believe that's how that works. And then I also have a Coca-Cola. I bought one Coca-Cola stock. I bought that last pay period. And that was, it has a 2.678 dividend yield. So per $100 that I have in there, um, I should get one or I should get $2.67 back, something like that. And then I also, the other one that I bought, I've actually bought a couple of this, which is kind of controversial. I wasn't entirely sure on this purchase because as I said, you know, I'm looking for those long standing good dividend stocks, but it appeared that AMC pays out dividend stocks here. And I was looking at that and I was like, they pay out, they pay out dividends. And so it's 11.782. So I was like, ooh, that's kind of nice. And then I was like, I got it for fairly cheap. I bought that at $6.60 average cost. And as you can see, they've just gone down over the past five years, but I figured we were at the height of piracy. And so everybody out there who's doing that, I feel like that's it's as bad as it could be. But it's still pretty bad since their dividend is still relatively new. I 100% don't think you should do this and again i'm not a financial advisor but i went with it i figured hey why not let's see what happens and so they got that i've got as you can see all of my red glue was the gluu that was the free one that i got for doing robin hood if you guys start you get a free stock so that's pretty cool um so yeah i bought coke at 58 dollars and 86 cents and I bought that realty income. I bought that today. It actually went down uh, to, it was at like $80 yesterday. So I was really happy it went down. I got saved like $2. It was, I paid $78.24 for that one, as you can see here. But yeah, so these are the ones I'm also looking at. You can see I'm watching Tesla. Uh, that one has gone kind of crazy. Uh, Disney, I want to buy Disney. And I'm trying to stay. So I understand, you know, I'm sorry, guys. I get some companies are horrible. There are some things that I won't buy into. I won't buy like pharmaceutical companies or any like gas powered car companies just because off of principle. So those I won't buy. But I do understand that, you know, like Disney, you know, is very controversial. Sometimes some people feel a certain kind of way, but I probably will buy one. I'm also looking at Six Flags. Okay. <laughs> Look, so let's take a look at Six Flags here real quick. 8.48 uh, dividends. So I was like, ooh, and I, I like going to Six Flags. We have a Six Flags, so I, I don't have like really anything else, but I, I did consider that. I know that's kind of risky. AMD isn't a dividend stock, but I want that. And then there's also 3M. That's one I've been eyeing as well. I think my next purchase will be either 3M or a Disney. 3M has a, that's AMD. That's Intel. 3M has a 5% buy rating. Oh, well. But 84% say to hold. So I guess that's cool. But what's their dividend? 3.67. So that's really good. Like I said, to hit that 4.5 is definitely a step in that right direction. If you guys liked this video or if you guys have any stock recommendations, that's where I got AMC from actually was someone in a comment on a video I was watching said buy AMC stocks. Thank me later. I was like, sure. Doesn't mean I'm going to take all your guys' recommendations, but let me know what you guys are eyeing in the comments below if there are any stocks that interest you. If you guys have any good dividend stock recommendations, and again, not a financial advisor, but I figured this would be fun. If you guys liked the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And subscribe if you want to come along for the ride. Thanks for watching.